Good morning students. You have to take out your geography book class 7. Yesterday we have started with the new lesson lesson number 3 weather and climate. The topics to be discussed in this lesson are number 1 its introduction, number 2 weather and climate, number 3 difference between weather and climate, number 4 elements of weather. In elements we will discuss its temperature precipitation humidity atmospheric pressure winds clouds till now we have done its introduction weather and climate difference between weather and climate elements of weather in elements we have started with temperature today we will discuss an instrument used to measure the temperature students what is temperature temperature is a degree of hotness and coldness of air now come to the page number 31 measurement of temperature the temperature is measured by the instrument called thermometer which thermometer is used six maximum and minimum thermometer and thermograph is used to measure the degree of hotness and coldness of air students in your book only you there is they have given a diagram of celsius thermometer and fahrenheit thermometer these are two thermometers in the celsius thermometer you can see a glass tube which is sealed on a one end and has a glass bulb on a other end the lower part of the glass tube and the glass bulb has mercury in it the lowest point in this celsius thermometer is 0 degree celsius which is the freezing point of the water and the highest point is 100 degree celsius which is the boiling point of the water in celsius thermometer the fahrenheit thermometer is also same but the lowest point in this fahrenheit thermometer is 32 degree fahrenheit that is the freezing point of water and the highest point is 212 degree fahrenheit that is the boiling point of water of fahrenheit thermometer Let's read thermometer. A Celsius thermometer shows zero to hundred degree of temperature. Here, zero degree Celsius is the freezing point of water, and hundred degree Celsius is the boiling point. It consists of glass tube, which is sealed on a one end and has a bulb on the other end. The lower part of the glass tube and the bulb are filled with mercury. We have seen this red part. This is mercury. the glass tube the lower end of the glass tube and the bulb is filled with the mercury the lowest point on the tube indicates the freezing point of the water and its upper end indicates the boiling point of the water a fahrenheit thermometer shows 32 degree to 212 degree of temperature in which 32 degree is the freezing point and 212 degree fahrenheit is the boiling point of the water now come to stevenson screen what is stevenson screen actually it is a wooden box students this is stevenson screen this is a wooden box in this wooden box the thermometers are kept to calculate the accurate temperature this wooden box is painted white white is painted white to reflect away the bright sunlight it allows the free movement of air but it protects the thermometer from the direct sun rays the stevenson screen box is placed in an open place but at a height of 1.5 meters above the surrounding area this is stevenson screen let's read stevenson screen it is used to measure the temperature of moving air stevenson screen is a wooden box as wood wood is a poor conductor of heat in which thermometer is kept to calculate the accurate temperature why wooden box is chosen as wood is a poor conductor of heat a metal box is not suitable as it would heat up and cool down with the variation in the temperature outside in the in, in the outside temperature to reflect away the bright sunlight the surface of the box is painted white it allows the free movement of air but protects the thermometer from the direct sun rays the stevenson screen box is placed in an open place especially away from the trees and buildings it is kept 
at a height of about 1.5 meters above the surrounding area. So let's recapitulate what is Stevenson screen. Stevenson screen is a wooden box. Thermometers are kept in it to calculate the accurate temperature. Number two. Number three, it, to reflect away the bright sunlight, the surface is painted white. It allows the free movement of air, but protects the thermometer from the direct sun rays. The Stevenson screen is placed in an open place. In this well ventilated box, the barometer, the wet and dry bulb thermometers and the other thermometers are placed. What is barometer? An instrument used to measure atmospheric pressure. What is wet and dry bulb thermometers? It is a thermometer used to measure humidity and some other thermometers are also placed in this Stevenson box. Students, in your book also, Stevenson screen is given. You can see. Do you know? Stevenson screen was named after the Thomson Stevenson. He designed the first box in the mid 19th century in Scotland. Next comes six maximum and minimum thermometer. As we all know, temperature keeps on changing. It never remains static. So it is necessary to measure the maximum and the minimum range of temperature of a day. Students, this is six maximum and minimum thermometer. In this thermometer, there are two lumps made up of glass. It is U in shape. In the lower part of these two lumps, mercury is filled. And in the left limb, alcohol is filled. There are two iron indicators in these two limbs, which will give the reading of the temperature. Let's discuss its working. Whenever there will be increase in temperature, the alcohol in the left limb will expand. See, it is expanding. It will push the mercury forward. An indicator will be pushed forward. The moment where the an indicator will stop will be the maximum reading of the temperature of the day. Then whenever there will be decrease in the temperature, the alcohol in the left limb will contract. It will come back. See slowly the alcohol is contracting. The moment where this indicator will stop will be the minimum minimum range of the temperature of the day. This was the working of six maximum and minimum thermometer. Let's read. Temperature is a varied element. That means it keeps on changing, never remains still. Varied element of weather and climate. It keeps changing and never remains static. Static means still, but its variability cannot be seen in an hour, day, month or a year. Due to its variable nature, it becomes essential to calculate the maximum and the minimum range of a temperature of a place. Six maximum. Six maximum and the minimum thermometer is used to calculate the range of temperature. James Six invented this thermometer in 1782. Who invented the six maximum and the minimum thermometer? James Six. When it was invented in 1782. Six maximum and the minimum thermometer is a U-shaped thermometer filled with mercury and alcohol. It is a U-shaped thermometer. It is filled with the mercury and alcohol. The minimum temperature is measured from the left hand limb and the maximum temperature is measured from the right hand limb. As it is clear from the picture only, in the left limb, the word minimum is given. It shows the minimum range of the temperature will be measured from the left hand limb. And above the right limb, there is word maximum. It shows the maximum range of the temperature will be measured from this right hand limb. Functioning of the six maximum and the minimum thermometer. This thermometer comprises a glass tube bent twice at a right angle as shown in the diagram. One of these tubes is for recording the maximum temperature and other are for minimum temperature. The U-shaped capillary tube has one bulb each at the upper ends. Capillary tube, a tube with a small bore. The alcohol measures the temperature and the mercury indicates the temperature reading on the both the sides, on both the scales. The left hand bulb is completely filled with alcohol. This bulb measures the temperature by the expansion and the contraction of the alcohol. 
whenever there will be rise in the temperature the alcohol will expand and whenever there will be decrease in the temperature the alcohol will contract the right hand bulb contains alcohol and a bubble of alcohol vapor when the temperature rises in a day the alcohol in the totally filled bulb expands and applies a pressure on a mercury the mercury advances towards a partly filled bulb and drives up the index in the glass capillary nearer to the partly filled bulb in this way the index nearer to the partly filled bulb records the maximum temperature in simple words whenever there will be rise increase in the temperature the alcohol in the left limb will expand this will push mercury forward and the and indicator will be pushed forward the moment where the and indicator will stop in the right limb will be the maximum range of the temperature of the day the temperature falls in the night and consequently the alcohol in the totally filled bulb contracts the mercury proceed towards the totally filled bulb and propels up the index in the glass capillary nearer to the totally filled bulb in this way the index nearer to the totally filled bulb records the minimum temperature same whenever there will be decrease in the temperature the alcohol in the left limb will contract the mercury will push the alcohol back the indicator in the left limb will stop will give the minimum range of the temperature of the day after noting down the readings the thermometer has to be reset every day how these thermometers can be reset every day a small magnet is used to bring the two metal indices to the top of the mercury level in both the glass capillaries students this was the working of six maximum and the th minimum thermometer tomorrow we will discuss thermograph